say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Hey guys, it is Sunday, day one of my glow up challenge. So I've got a couple of errands to run. I did film this morning and the plus side to filming was that I got my soul portion out of the day for today by just doing simple hair and makeup. I'm feeling good. Um, so that was a win so far. So I am drinking my water. I'm tracking what I'm eating. And then on top of that, I am going to try to squeeze in a workout tonight. Got my little Bambino back here with me and we are going to go swimming later. So I'm going to use the time that he's in the pool to just lay out, calm down, relax, maybe read a book. And um, yeah, that's going to be it for the day. So I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we are back from running errands and we are going to hop in the pool. I have my little, he's already in there. I've got my umbrella and my chair and I am going to basically just chill out there and that is gonna be, um, you know, how I'm focusing on my mind and soul today. And. The day is starting to get away from me, so I realized I need to squeeze a workout in. So what I'm gonna do today, since I am already exhausted, I'm just gonna hop on the treadmill and walk at an incline for about 30 minutes and um, you know, really try to work on making sure that I stick to that commitment. So I will check back in with you guys after I finish this workout and I will see you soon. So I finished today's workout, so I have officially covered mind, body, and soul today. I'm going to finish out my day hopping in the shower, doing my normal nighttime skincare routine, and just vegging out, watching my favorite show. And that is it for day one. I'm gonna call this day one success. Let's see how tomorrow goes. All right, it is Monday morning and it's already 10 o'clock. I woke up, I started working. I haven't even had coffee yet, um, but I did make an effort to run a flat iron through my hair this morning because it was a little crazy. Drop Phoenix off with his grandma. Um, I'm going to run in to the house and try to get a little bit of coffee in my system. I'm going to make a healthy breakfast. I think I am craving some avocado toast. And then I've got to get back to work. So that's where I'm at. But I thought I would just do a little check-in with you guys. Um, and... I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so it is getting close to my lunch hour and I am going to work out during that period. So I wanted to get a head start with my pre-workout. So this is what I've been obsessed with lately. Um, for any of you ladies out there, this is definitely my go-to uh, pre-workout. It tastes like Skittles and it doesn't leave me feeling super jittery. So I'm going to just have my pre-workout and then in about 20 minutes from now, I will work out. All right, guys. So the pre-workout has officially kicked in and I'm going to go hit the treadmill. And yesterday I walked. So today I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to run, but the way that I've been doing it is I'm running two minutes, walking for one, running for two, walking for one, and I'm just doing it for a half hour. So obviously I'm quite out of shape. I haven't been working out as much as I used to. So I'm just trying to really get in and build that endurance back up. So I will see you guys after this workout. So 
basically I'm dead. Um, that workout was so rough for multiple reasons. One, our treadmill is in the garage. So it's probably like high 80s today, but in the garage, like add basically 10 degrees to that. Um, and then two minutes into that workout, I realized I needed to pee, but I was in it for the long haul. 10 minutes into the workout, my legs were killing me. I was like, why am I struggling? I, you know, I had my pre-workout, this should be a breeze. And I realized that the incline from yesterday's workout was still up. So basically I was running at an incline. So, you know, so much for me taking it easy and easing back into my workout routine, but it's all good. I got my 30 minutes in. Um, I still have a full afternoon of work to do. So I'm just going to fill up my water and yeah, back to work. Okay, so we are by the pool and I have got my water, I've got my book and I am just gonna lay out and read for a little bit and clear my head. That's what's happening. And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars We can do what we like, like Yesterday definitely got away from me, um, but what I did want to tell you is the book that I'm reading is by Rachel Hollis, and it's the sequel to her Girl Wash Your Face book, which I absolutely loved. So I was actually gifted her sequel, which is Girl Stop Apologizing. I was gifted it last year. I read a couple chapters while I was on vacation last summer, and then I never picked it up again. So. That's the book I'm currently reading. I highly recommend it. First book was very motivational and the second book um, already, you know, I'm feeling pumped just from reading it. So definitely check it out. It's a good read. I'm going to spend my lunch hour today working out and then taking a shower. I have a meeting this afternoon. So I am going to try to fix all of this, do my hair and makeup. And um, yeah, so first things first, my lunch hour, I'm gonna work out. I ran yesterday and my knee was killing me after, so I am going to do a, I don't know, maybe a full body workout today, but I will uh, update you when uh, I'm at that point. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I just finished that workout and I actually wanted to record it for you guys, but about two minutes in, the battery to my camera died. So I'm gonna do that same workout on Thursday and I will record it for you. I will also leave a link down below to the fitness channels that I follow. The one that I used today was Kaboko Fitness and I absolutely love her. So I will go ahead and record it on Thursday, leave the link down below. Right now I'm gonna hop in the shower and get ready for my afternoon meetings. I don't want your persona. I just wanna be real with you tonight. Can I have you alone now? I just wanna reveal what's on my mind. You tell me that you're used to no feelings, but I'm gonna change it. Yeah, you'll be awakened. Cause when my love starts working on you, it'll take your breath away like never before. And as soon as but basically I am just getting finished getting ready for my afternoon meetings. I just threw um, on this top. This is from Vici. 
I just love this. This has like a little bit of lace detailing on the sleeve, which I love. And then I threw on some jeans. These are just my basic AG jeans. So look, I'm not in leggings and I actually feel pretty good. All right, so it is Wednesday afternoon, kind of getting into like the early evening. We are officially halfway through the first week of this challenge and I feel like I feel like I've been killing it I've basically made sure I've been taking time every single day to work out to watch what I'm eating to take some time to just focus on my mind and do things that make me feel good and um yeah so I'm already feeling great but today I woke up I was so tired I don't know and this is completely unrelated I don't know why, but I haven't been able to sleep very well. So um, for my lunch break today, I actually took a nap and my body is just very sore from the last couple days of workouts. Yesterday's workout killed my body. So I'm going to do yoga today about a half hour. And um, honestly, for mind, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. I have so much mess, so much to declutter in here. So I am going to take a little bit of time and just start cleaning. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me Little by little, piece by piece Until I'm complete Hey guys, it is Thursday night and today has gone by so, so fast. I've been incredibly busy but I did manage to squeeze in a 30 minute workout during my lunch break. I just ran on the treadmill and felt really good about it. Yesterday, I ended up not working out. I had every intention of, you know, doing some yoga, but my body was so sore from Tuesday's workout and I had had a pretty stressful day. And, you know, just listening to my body, I felt like it was okay to take a day off from that. I had tracked yesterday too. So I felt like, you know, even though I wasn't working out, I was still at least, you know, taking care of my body and focusing on the things that I needed to focus on. But yeah, so I just relaxed last night and um, today I got back into my workout. And then my sister came over after work and we went in the pool. I took a shower. Um, and now I am just going to relax and watch the Dodger game and that's going to be it for today. So almost done with week one, feel like it's been pretty successful and I'm excited to wrap this up the next two days and fill you guys in on what's been going on all week. So I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, we made it to Friday. It is the morning. I have, um, a few things to take care of for work today but I did get a package in, so I thought I would just share with you what I purchased. Um, and then I will film my workout today and then this afternoon after work, um, I have a virtual happy hour, which I'm really excited about. A group of friends and I do that every other week and it really is just nice to sit down and chat with, you know, chat with some people. So what I was needing was a bunch of new lip liners the mac lip pencil formulation i think that they are you know they're pretty creamy and they glide on fairly well so um actually think that they're probably my go-to when i do new when i do need a new lip liner so i purchased six of them and you can see they all look to be in about the same family, but I thought I would do um, just a little swatch for you guys. Okay, so the first one that I purchased is Boldly Bare. And this is, um, it's just your basic nude color. Let me swatch it for you. 
Look at how nice that goes on. Like it literally just glides on. This is why I love these ones so, so much. The next one that I got, this is my tried and true. I use this one all the time. Um, it's Spice. And this one I love to pair with Velvet Teddy. So I'll put Spice on and then I'll put Velvet Teddy over top. Velvet Teddy is my go-to favorite lipstick of all time. All right, so in comparison... So this one's definitely more of like a cinnamon stick, like more brown than Boldly Bare, but it's still very pretty and it's still in the pink range. The next one that I purchased was Soar. So this one is like a mid-tone pinkish brown, so it's probably... Um, in between Spice and the one I'm going to show you next, but this is another really pretty, pretty color. Okay, and then moving on to Whirl, which is basically just a dusty rose. Like that's, I don't think I could describe it any better than that. Okay. So that one, again, is Whirl. And then um, going into some a darker tone is Plum. And that's exactly what the color is. So there's Plum. Okay. And the last color that I purchased was, um, it was a red. And it's Ruby Woo. And this is probably my favorite red of all time. Their Ruby Woo lipstick is so beautiful. But this red is just really a true, bright, vibrant red. So that's what Ruby Woo looks like. So that's what I purchased. And then because I got all of those, they did send me a free Dazzle Glass lip gloss in the shade Roller Girl. So it's a nude with... Um, some pink shimmer in it and I'll just show you really quick. Um, I hadn't purchased anything like this before. I usually am not a lip gloss kind of girl. Really, really pretty. I think it would be pretty over top, you know, some of these nudes in here and just adds a little shimmer. Okay. So that was my purchase for MAC. I have a million other purchases coming in. I feel like I've gone a little overboard, um, but I'll share those with you as they come. Again, I will film my workout and touch base with you guys again before my virtual happy hour. And um, yeah, we'll see how the day goes. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going. I get to it off the runway. Different incomes, not one way. Living life on the one way. I knew this would happen someday. You can ask my day one day. Cloudy days turn to sun rays. Only way to way up way. Know my way, know my feng shui. I get to it first, I got you mad. I get that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I get that when I get to it last. Get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going. Different summer, different car keys. I'm the life of the party. Might buy a bike like a Harley. Totally do so gnarly. God got me, can't harm me. I got armor and a army. Battle scars, battle smartly. Smartly, just forever like a sharpie. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I 
I guess that when I get to it last Get it that I'm never going back Get it that I'm never going back up, Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up Okay guys, that is a wrap for that workout. I'm gonna go shower, um, finish my afternoon for work, and then I will see you guys back here for our virtual happy hour. Hey guys, work is done and I am ready for happy hour. So I'm gonna make myself a Moscow mule and enjoy the evening chatting with some friends and relaxing. <laughs> Overall, I'm feeling a lot better. I feel like, you know, I've been working out for now two weeks straight and both weeks I was able to squeeze in a workout six days out of the seven. So I think that that's a win. And what I actually noticed this week was that I was looking forward to my workouts where the prior week, um, you know, it was a bit of a struggle to get motivated to do it. But I am seeing a difference already in just that initial, you know, get up and go with the workout. And then I am finding that it's becoming really, really nice to take some time for myself. So I'm excited to see how this next week goes. There were a couple of things that I did want to point out. I know that I've talked a lot about tracking what I'm eating and I want to be a little bit more specific with you guys in stating that what I'm doing for a I'm not even going to call it a diet I'm going to call it a you know healthy eating lifestyle change is I am back on Weight Watchers and I've had success with Weight Watchers in the past I do not have a lot of weight to lose um, but I did want to have some sort of you know, parameters in place for me to be able to keep myself accountable and to know when I'm going overboard with what I'm eating. So I am on Weight Watchers. I'm on the blue plan. I'm really enjoying it. And, um, and the other thing that I wanted to point out is I don't have necessarily a goal weight. Um, my comfort zone is just a few pounds below where I'm at right now. Um, but I had ordered a pair of jeans, I guess a month ago, and it was my first pair of Levi's. I usually stick to Hudson, AG. Um, I ventured off into a couple of other brands occasionally, but this was the first pair of Levi's that I purchased, and I purchased them in my normal size. And when they came, I could not pull them up and button them at all. So I ended up sending them back and I got the next size up, which, um, was already a little bit frustrating to me, but let me show you guys where I'm at with that because this is what I'm going to use to determine my success as far as, you know, change in my body goes. Okay, so these are my gold jeans and as you can see, they do button. A week ago, I could not button this top one. So this week, we're already seeing progress. I can button them, but there's no give here. I've got some muffin top happening a little bit and they're just not comfortable. I can't sit in them. So these are my gold jeans. This is how I'm going to um, measure my success as far as my body goes. 
over the next three weeks. I'm hoping that they're more comfortable at the end of that. All right, another thing I wanted to point out really quickly is that I realized really fast into the week that it is important to take time for yourself, but not to overstretch yourself. So when I started the week, I was like, all right, I'm gonna do one thing a day for my mind, one thing for my body, and one thing for my soul. And there is seriously only X amount of hours in a day. So some of those things might have run together. Um, for example, you know, if I was outside by the pool reading, that was good for my mind and my soul. Um, and then, you know, tracking and uh, working out. So I had two tasks that I was doing every single day. So when I took a day off from working out, I didn't feel bad that it, or feel like I had neglected my body in any way because I had still been watching what I was eating. So I'm definitely feeling good. I feel like this week was a success. Again, my gold jeans at least button now. So I feel like that's a win. I'm excited to work out every single day. So I'm already ch starting to see a change in my mindset, which is also another win. Um, but yeah, this next week is going to be my birthday week. I'm expecting a lot of packages coming in because I've been shopping a lot and um, we'll see how this next week goes. But I'm really excited to continue on this four week journey with you guys. If you're interested in sticking around for that, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next week. That's it. That's all I've got for you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.